Hello guys and welcome back to the Fusion tutorial series. In this video I'm gonna show you how splines work. Splines are kind of hard to understand at first, but once you understand them you can use them for many many things and start creating shapes that you could never imagine before. So let's go over some basics first. Here on the sketch, I'm in a new sketch by the way, you can choose spline. And basically what you do is you create a bunch of points and then the computer is gonna make a nice flowy curve around them. But this curve is very uncontrolled and sometimes it might match what you want and sometimes not. So what we're gonna do is use all these green and blue lines here to manipulate this line around to fit exactly how we want. But let's actually get rid of this for a second and do something where you could actually use it. So I'm gonna insert a picture here and you can do that either by right clicking and going to insert attach canvas or you go up there to insert attach canvas. And that's basically just gonna put an image into your three-dimensional world. Select this face and then here select image. I'm gonna select this image from my desktop and then um, you can like rotate it here. You can move it around where you want it. You can also scale it up and down to the size you want. And then in the end, you can press OK. You can even like flip it horizontally or vertically. So now we have this image here in the background and this allows us to transfer this shape into a drawing. So let's select our spline again and start creating one of these shapes. Now I find it easiest to zoom in with the scroll wheel as far as you can. And when you're doing that, you maybe want to turn off snapping because as you can see, it snaps to all these points here, which usually is super nice. But if you're trying to trace something like that, it's not really helpful. And I'm also going to turn off the sketch grid. And this allows you to move much more freely. So when you are, are placing your points on your shape, you might feel like you need a whole bunch of points all around to fit it perfectly, but you actually don't really. So what you wanna do is like divide it up in nice uniform arcs if possible. As you can see, like here till about here is a beautiful just uniform arc. You could always, always almost go out to here. So that's a good first point. Then from here all the way till over here at least, is a good other arc. And as you can see, it doesn't look that perfect yet, but we can change that later. And from here, we can go directly over here. Now, you might be inclined to just continue like that, but that is possible. You can change that afterwards. But what I find to be almost easier is to finish this spline off and create a new one for when you wanna have like a sharp corner. So let's do this one here, here, like that, and finish that again off with the check mark. And then we have all these little green lines, and we wanna basically use them to point into the right direction. But it doesn't only matter how far you point them like that, it also matters how far uh, it's pulled out. And that's basically gonna change, you can see this little green circle that forms here, that's basically gonna change the radius. And you want that radius to match about as closely as you can with the radius of your actual part. So for this instance, it, that would be about good. So you just go around to all the points, making sure that they look good and match. And then after some tweaking, you can see that this side already matches pretty well. So let's match the other side as well. And here we go. We have created our first beautiful spline. And as you can see, this allows you to very easily create shapes that are quite difficult to create with like normal geometric forms. But it also is super quick and looks very uniform and flowy. And it's not just like jagged and 
rather ugly. So whenever you're tracing anything like that, or basically anything that isn't geometric, you want to use the splines. It's going to take you a little bit to figure them out completely, but once you master them, it's going to be a real pleasure. So I'm going to end this video here, and in the next one, we're going to move even further.